हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई एम मेकिंग द वीडियो ऑन द पार्ट्स ऑफ द फ्लावर यू नो दैट फ्लावर इज द रिप्रोडक्टिव यूनिट ऑफ द एंजियोस्पम्स एंड एंजियोस्पम्स दीज आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट बिकॉज ऑफ द फ्लॉर बिकॉज फ्लॉर इज वेरी इसेंशियल यूनिट इन द एंजियोस्पम एंड इट इज मीन फॉर द सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन ओके सो let's start with the parts of the uh, flower basically the flower you can see this is the structure of the flower okay you can take the both of the flower and to see the structure of the flower and in the flower main four parts are there okay which four one first one is the calyx second one is the corolla androecium and the gynoecium okay so that is also known as the four floral whorls okay so we will see one by one okay first of all we will see what is the meaning of the calyx okay i will just show you one two Three, four, and the five. Okay, can you see this five parts of the flower? These five parts. These are known as. Yes, you can see this very clearly. These are known as the calyx. okay the calyx is the outermost roll now you can see this flower okay you can see the outermost one this one okay this one this is known as the calyx it is outermost membrane we can say like that okay and it is very important uh, or it is also known as the uh, sepals okay these are green in color it may be a leaf like structure to protect the flower in the bud stage that calyx Uh, not may only green it may be a very attracting color as you can see the uh, sepals of this flower okay these are not green in color but they are the uh, various in colors the calyx may be gamosepalous or it may be a polysepalous okay gamosepalous means what when the sepals are united one now if you see the structure of these flower the sepals these are not one united they are separated from each other okay as you can see the structure of this is the sepals these are not united one that means they are the polysepalous gamosepalous means when the sepals are united and polysepalous means when the sepals are free okay this is about the calyx now next part is the corolla now this corolla that is composed of the petals 1 2 3 this is the 4 and this is the 5 yes okay now you can see okay you just focus on this part now because the calyx is over now we are uh, studying the corolla okay that corolla these are composed of the petals these petals they are usually uh, bright in colored they attract the insect for the pollination okay main point is that why these colors are attractive because for the insect to pollination or for the pollination the calyx corolla may also okay that may also be gamopetalous and the polypetalous like the uh, like the sep petals okay or the sepals the petals are also gamopetalous or the polypetalous again the meaning of the gamopetalous means the petals are united stage and in polypetalous means if the petals are free in shape okay the shape and the color of the corolla that vary greatly in the plants okay that corolla that may be a tubular one it is bell shaped it may be a funnel shape or it may be a wheel shape depending on the flower the shape of the petals these are different okay so this is about the corolla 
now we will move towards the next part of the uh, next part okay this is about uh, the calyx and corolla you can see here i just separated this calyx and corolla now we will uh, move towards the androecium okay you can see this structure okay this type of the structure anthers are there okay i will just separate the androecium from the flower yes i hope you can see the structure of the androecium okay this is all the androecium these are the androecium which are present in every flower okay obviously the uh, no, normally the androeciums are present the mode of the arrangement okay uh, of the androecium is after the corolla okay so what is the endosium that endosium is composed of the stamens as you can see the uh, structure of the okay you can see the structure of the here endosium that each stamen which represent a male reproductive organ which is consist of the stalk which is also called as the filament of an anther okay actually the three main parts of the endosium is there okay i will show you one okay you can see this is the anther okay anther filament and the stamen these are the part of the uh, androecium okay so these are all the parts of the androecium now we will just separate these all part okay we studied till now calyx corolla and androecium now what is the gynoecium that we need to study okay i hope you can see the one part is remaining in the flower what we dissecting uh, dissected right now okay so you can see the whatever the part is remain okay that also i will separate don't worry yes this is the ovary this is called the ovary okay i hope you can see uh, the ovary okay the ovary it is also known as the gynoecium that is the female reproductive part of the flower and it is made up of one or more carpels okay that carpel that consists of the again three parts style stigma and the ovary that ovary is enlarged of the basal part of which are uh, where the they are lies elongated tube one okay the style that style that connects to the ovary to the stigma and what is the stigma that stigma usually present at tip of the ovary okay so these are the main parts of the flower okay you can see this is the these are the sepals okay yes now this is the sepals these are the petals which are also known as the corolla androecium and gynoecium okay these are the four main parts of the flower you can see the complete flower okay where the first the sepals are present which are also known as the calyx then corolla androecium and gynoecium now pedicle is also present now if you will ask me that where is that pedicle is present okay see we dissected this one flower and now this green part is remain okay you just focus on this green parts that green part that is known as the pedicle okay so these are called the parts of the flower okay thank you so much